high, also known as stair step ramp or simply counter AD converter. This is also fairly easy to understand, but unfortunately suffers from several limitations. The basic idea is to connect the output of a free running binary counter 4520 to the input of a DAC, then compare the analog output of DAC with the analog input signal to be digitalized and use the comparator's output to tell the counter when to stop counting and reset. The oscilloscope screen shows the basic idea. As a counter 4520 counts up with each clock pulse, the DAC outputs a slightly higher voltage, more positive. This voltage is compared against the input voltage by the comparator. If the minus input voltage is greater than the DAC output, the comparator's output will be high and the counter will continue counting normally. Eventually, though, the plus input will exceed the DAC output voltage, causing the comparator output to go low. This will cause the counter receives a low signal on MR input, master reset, resetting it to zero on the next clock pulse, starting the count all over again. The effect of this circuit is to produce a DAC output that ramps up to whatever level the analog input signal is at, outputting the binary number corresponding to that level, and start over again. Plotted over time, it looks like this. Note how the time between updates changes depending on how high the input voltage is. For higher signal level, they are spaced further apart in time. For low signal levels, the updates are rather close spaced. For many ADC applications, this variation in update frequency would not be acceptable. This and the fact that the circuits needs to count all the way from zero at the beginning of each count cycle makes for relatively slow sampling of the analog signal, places the digital ramp ADC at disadvantage to other counter strategies. Next video, we will switch the counter and see if we can get another counting strategy, known as tracking ADC. Hang in there, things will work out. Bye.